Well, hi. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're washing your hands, staying safe. It's time for more Arctastic time with Miss Fawn. In your kits this week, you will have a piece of um, a lace. <laughs> for, sorry, I blanked out there for a minute. So it happens when you talk to yourself too much. And I also sent you some pony beads. So I'm going to show you how to make a cute little bracelet. So all you have to do is get out your piece of lacing and we are going to actually string these beads on here. So I'm going to get you a little bit closer to me so you can see what I'm doing. So grab your stuff, get ready, and let's have some fun. Okay, so here we go. We're going to make this just a really simple bracelet, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting one bead on here and then you're going to take this string and you're going to take it back up through the bead and that's going to make one end of our bracelet and this is going to be what we're going to tie it on with okay so then we're going to work from this other end and we're going to put our next bead on there bring it clear down we're gonna space those. I'm gonna space mine about that far apart. So keeping my finger there, I'm gonna take the end of this one and put it back down through the bead, down through the top. Sometimes it's a little stiff and you have to work a little bit at it, but that's okay. Put the bead back where I wanted it. I'm doing a finger between this line and the end of my finger that's gonna be what I measure with. So just pull that tight through there and that holds that one in place. So see, we're a little bit further, so I'm gonna loosen it up, take it back. And that's about where I wanted it. So we're gonna continue doing that with several of our beads. It's only gonna take about five or six beads to do this with. Bring that one up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the end through there but I'm not gonna pull it tight. So I pull the end through there. Now I go ahead and measure where I wanted that bead so we can push that right up that string. So about right there is where I wanted it, so I pull that string tight. You see how we're getting them really nicely put on there. So we go with our next bead. We're deciding as we go what colors we want on there. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this one. It's about right there. Put the end of the string through. This is another way of making a bracelet. I've shown you several already. Let's see, I'm gonna see how far around. I think I'll make this a duffel. So this is already big enough to go around my wrist once. So what I mean by a double is I'm gonna continue putting beads on so that it goes around my wrist twice. And I'm just kinda eyeballing where I want those beads at this point. And take the string back through. Tight. Get your next one on there. Take your string through and pull it tight. Oh, sometimes you get a little twist in it. You gotta make sure that twist isn't in there because it makes it hard to pull it. And you pull it tight. So I got that one a little closer than I wanted. So you just push your string back out a little bit and then you can pull your bead down and get it to where you want it to be set. And hold it there and pull that string tight. Okay. So we're gonna keep working on this until we get enough beads that we're happy. 
And like I said, I'm making mine a double bracelet. So that means it'll wrap around my arm twice. It doesn't take very long to do this one. This is probably a 20 minute project, I'd say. So if you just have a little spare time and you just want something fun to do in that time, then you can do a little bracelet like this. They make great gifts for people. They make great friendship bracelets. You know, we do a lot of friendship bracelets in my room. You guys like to make bracelets. So this is just another tool in your workbox of ways to do things. In your toolbox. I don't know why I said workbox. See what happens when you talk to yourself too much? You get a little silly. So I'm still going here. We're getting towards the end. You wanna leave enough string on the end so that you'll have something to tie with, okay? I'm in a little trouble deciding what color I want next. That happens sometimes, right? Get your creativity flow and it can be whatever you want it to be. It can look however you want it to look. So I gave each of you 10 beads in your bag and a, enough lace that you can either make one double bracelet like I am or you can make two single bracelets if you cut it in half, depending on the size of your arm. So you should measure it first to make sure. Remember that you're gonna use part of this lace when you're making these little knots on here. So it needs to be longer than what you really want it. So you wrap this around and then you can tie this. I'm trying to do this all by myself because me and my bird are the only ones home and he's not really good at tying, so he's no help. And there you have it, a beautiful, cute little bracelet. I hope you guys had fun making this one. I had a lot of fun showing it to you. Um, like I said, you'll find the lacing and you'll find the pony beads in your kit this week. So get creative, upload pictures, and show me what you're doing. Um, I miss you guys. I love you. And we'll see you next time. Mwah.